hey guys welcome back to my channel so from the title you know that i will be making some jamaican curry chicken so if you enjoyed the video please remember to give me a thumbs up also subscribe if you are new i really appreciate it also share the video if you can let's get started in the pot i added two tablespoons of oil to that i'm going to add two teaspoons of better pop curry powder you can use your favorite curry powder so i seasoned my chicken ahead of time so i will leave all the ingredients that i use to season the chicken in the description box so after i add my curry i burn the curry for about a minute when you burn the curry it will not hurt your belly and also it bring out the flavor of the curry so just burn it on a very low flame because you don't want your curry curry powder to become black so after you finish burning your curry powder you're going to stir the chicken well in the curry so that all the pieces will be fully coated after i am finished doing so i am going to cover the pot for about five minutes for the chicken to spring some juices of its own and also when you do this step you will have some delicious jamaican curry chicken because it will bring out all the flavors together especially if you don't marinate your chicken do not skip this step so after about five minutes the chicken spring a little juice so look at the beautiful color yes i love my curry chicken to have a nice bright yellow color i don't like it to look white you know or pale in color because i eat with my eyes yes so once the chicken the food looks good I would eat all of it but to see if it doesn't have a nice color I don't want it so the bowl that I use to season the chicken in I am going to add some water just enough to cover the chicken so I like to use hot water but if the water is warm you can use it as well or if you're using cold water you know it will stop the cooking process so it would be better to use warm water or hot water and also when I use the warm water your chicken will be softer and juicier because the cold water kind of make it taste dry especially if you're using a lot of chicken breasts because I'm using some mixed species with mine so what I'm going to do now I'm going to cover the pot let it come to a rapid boil for about five minutes and then I return right, so since it is boiling rapidly I am going to taste to see what it needs so it's best to let it come to a boil first before you taste it because you know you just add the water so all the flavors will not be mixed together until it comes to a boil so when it comes to a boil it's best to add your ingredients that you need so what i'm adding here is half a teaspoon of chicken seasoning i'm adding a little salt and I'm also going to be adding one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning so if you planned to use like two teaspoon chicken season two teaspoon all purpose season it's best to season your chicken with some and then i use the left the rest of it to make the gravy because you know at that point you're still going to need some flavor for the gravy as well so that's what i did so you just taste and adjust the season to your preference if you don't need any seasoning or salt or anything in it in the gravy you can always just leave it just as that so i added some black pepper so now i'm going to add some chopped onion i'm gonna add garlic i'm gonna add scallion i'm gonna i added onion i'm going to add a piece of thyme and i'm also gonna add some ginger because you know once it's curry you know you need to add some ginger to cook your chicken all right i'm also gonna add a small piece of scratch bunny pepper because i don't love eat once the food spicy i can't eat it so if you're a person who loves the food spicy add as much pepper as you want so after you finish adding all your seasonings you're going to stir them very well together and then you're going to cover the pot and let it cook so i like to add carrot to my chicken but if you want you can always add some irish potatoes for me with irish potato it makes the gravy too thick so i don't like it in my curry but if you want to add it to yours no problem it's your food so you add whatever you like 
I'm going to add a few pieces of carrot. Maybe about a small carrot. I don't want a lot in my chicken either. I'm a very funny person. But you can add anything you want to add to your chicken. After I'm finished stirring, I'm going to cover the pot, as I said earlier, and let it cook for about 10 to 15 more minutes. And then I will return. So okay guys, my curry chicken is looking so delicious. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stir to see if it reaches the consistency that I want it to be. I mean the gravy. So as you can see I'm testing the gravy. So at this point the chicken is fully cooked. But you know I don't love my gravy to be long as the Jamaicans would say. So I like mine to be thicker. So what I'm going to do now is to let it cook for about 3 more minutes and then I will put out the flame. But if you want a lot of gravy, you can just leave yours just like that. Alright, so this is how I make Jamaican curry chicken in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Also, click the subscribe button if you're new. Share the video guys, I do appreciate it. Please comment as I love to hear from you. Also, when you click the subscribe button, remember to turn on all notifications so you'll be the first to watch my videos. See you next time. Bye.